viewers, you're welcome to our daily devotional Open Heavens Review. And I want to welcome you because it's another time to review the Open Heavens written about our Father in the Lord. It's a privilege to look deeply into what God has laid in his heart to share with us today, the 12th of April, 2022. And our topic today says, idleness destroys. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to look into your word. We ask that you breathe upon this word and let it bring us so much blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. <laughs> People say the, uh, the, uh, the hands of an idle person is the workshops of the enemy. That's where the devil can play around. Let's look at the word of God. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 4, which is our memory verse for today. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 4. The Bible says, The soul of the sluggard desireth and ask nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Have you, have you witnessed people who have a lot of wishful thinking, but they are sitting at, at home doing nothing? The Bible is clear about this. If you find men like that, their result is nothing. They don't acquire anything because they sit in their idleness. And you begin to wonder how we have rationalized our laziness many times when we ought to do something, but we procrastinate it and we don't get to do what we ought to do. These are dangerous places to be. As a believer, if you are not praying, that's part of the work. If you are not praying, the devil is going to make your house a workshop. It's going to be a place he's doing his permutation and his strategy to reach other people. What are you doing currently? Many people even think they are busy. Busyness does not attribute to work. Let me show you. Jesus himself, who is our Lord, the Bible says he works. He even said there is a time to work and there is a time that you don't have the opportunity to work. He said there is a night that is coming when no man can work. When the night time is coming, your night time can be your when you are becoming older. Your night time as a youth, if you get married and then you are getting busy with other things and you don't have the time for God, you may find yourself being idle. What are you doing currently for the Lord? Even in the kingdom, what is God has placed in your hand that you are currently doing? You need to pay attention to it. Let's take David. As an example, in what one of the things that our father in the Lord said today, when it was time for war, David sat down back in the city enjoying himself. And out of that idleness, he saw a woman that destroyed the covenant of God with him. When he ought to be the one to build the house of God, God said, No, 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 I won't allow you to do that. I would rather raise someone in your lineage to do it. He missed the purpose of God for doing that because he stayed back when he ought to be at battle. What are you doing now? that is taking you off track with God, you need to get back to work. I'm, set, I'm, I'm, I'm challenging you today. Get back to work. Another good example is Solomon. When Solomon has, you know, when all the war was fought on his behalf, in the book of 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 1 to 11, if you read that please, 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 1, 1 to 11, all the war has been fought on his behalf. He now started enjoying the rich, riches, all what his father has gathered for him. And that's why he could win. He went ahead to marry, you know, Bible talks about 300, 700 concubines. But you see what happens to him. In his regret, he wrote the Song of Solomon, accounting for his regret, saying, all is vanity. I want to encourage you today that you must get to work. God is looking forward to what you need to do. In the kingdom, in your professional life, in whatever God has placed in your hand, you must be able to get to work. Never allow idleness. And our key point today says, a good child of God will be busy doing his work. His work I'm talking about, doing God's work. Some of you have been in that parish doing nothing for many years. God is depending on you to get back to work. And as you do so, the Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Till I come your way again, I am trusting the Lord that the Lord will open your eyes to what you ought to be doing and you are going to get to work in Jesus' name. God bless you.